What's up, folks? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about a crazy, crazy law that is going to affect Canadians. And a massive shout out to Solana. Really do it, doing something that genuinely makes a difference to uh, the community. If you're a part of the Solana community, you'll want to know about this. Even if you're a Canadian, you're going to want to know about this. Uh, before I get into it, I update the spreadsheet. These are the first 26 coins I spoke about on the channel. Had you invested 100 bucks into each of these when I released videos about them, and you're still holding that crypto, you're in profit around 12.3k. If you'd have cashed out of those positions in the bull cycle, you'd have been in profit for 123k, so a 10x. Difference between bull and bear. If you want to see the coins I'm buying in this bear cycle right now, the ones I think are going to have the massive, massive gains, the ones that I think are going to be the life-changing ones, the 40x, the 50, the 100. And come check out Copy My Crypto. It's where I share everything I'm doing. Um, the link is in the description. Everything on the site is verifiable because everything there is about everything I've said on YouTube as well. Um, so if it resonates with you, come join me. But go check out the site. Right, Canadians. Canadians, you need to pay attention. So Ontario crypto exchanges are imposing a 30,000 Canadian dollar limit on altcoin buys. The new buy limits. Oh, it's our favorite phrase, guys. It's our favorite phrase. Intended to protect crypto investors and make them more aware of the risks. Guys, everyone knows the risks if you're getting into crypto, first of all. Second of all, stop trying to legislate under the guise of protection. This is what the SEC in America have been doing in terms of, oh, we're trying to protect customers. We're trying to protect consumers. This is what ends up happening with legislation by enforcement. It's dangerous territory. We do not want to see these things happening in the world where we see these institutions that are like, or these governments that are going, we're going to protect you. And by protecting you, we're going to restrict what you can do. Banks do that all the time. You can't buy this until you've confirmed that it's you. Fuck off, it's my money. You're telling me I can't buy something because you need how many how many pieces of verification to say that it's me? I want to buy a bottle of water. I want to buy a crate of water. And I've got to verify it's me? You cancel my payments? This is this is the situation, we get stopped and we, we have to stop and start under the whim of these fucking governments and these banks and these institutions where it's, you've got a limit on what you can do as an individual because we're protecting you. Fuck you and your protection. I don't want it. I don't need it. I'm a big boy. Ah, I'm, I'm not even Canadian, but... Yeah, so Newton, which is a Toronto-based crypto exchange, announced the new changes come after working on getting registered with the Ontario Securities Commission. These changes are to protect crypto investors like yourself and to make sure investors are aware of the risks associated with investing in crypto assets. So under the new changes, Ontario-based crypto traders on Newton and other Canadian platforms be subject to an annual thirty thousand dollar Canadian dollar net buy limit on all crypto coins, excluding Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin. By the way, how did Bitcoin Cash sneak in? And even actually making the argument, how did Litecoin sneak in there? Newton further clarified that if a trader bought and then sold a restricted coin, then the, the sell amount will be subtracted from the limit. The limit resets every 12 months from the first purchase of the restricted coins. So overall, it's a net buy. So if you sell, it's gone. But this is, this is not what we want to see overall as well. Because here's the thing. These, these buy limits will not be placed upon um, venture capital firms. These buy limits will not be placed on um, your significant investors. These buy limits will literally only be placed upon 
anyone watching this video. So similar to Newton, BitBuy requires traders to fill out a questionnaire to determine whether the investor qualifies as a retail investor, an eligible investor, or a sophisticated investor. However, retail investors remain subject to the 30,000 limit. Eligible investors can be capped to 100,000, and there are no purchase limits existing for accredited investors. So if you earn, and I, I believe an accredited investor is more than a million um, per year. It's it's not good, man. You don't you don't want to see this. And I don't know from a from a just a, from a personal perspective, when I'm actually over when I'm looking at the overall state of markets and the state of the world, the one thing I never want to see is this. Everyone falls in line because governments are saying they're doing it to protect. We've had that a lot, a lot across countries over the past two decades. Look at the shit that was thrown out when Snowden released his documents in America. And the American government's justification for spying on everyone was is to protect you. We're not looking at you, but if you have nothing to hide, you shouldn't be. Fuck you, it's my privacy. I get to do what I want. Privacy's a right. It's the same thing. It's always the, we're protecting. We're protecting. We're doing this for the greater good. That fucking phrase as well. And this kind of stuff, man, I don't know. You guys feel how you feel about it. I'm hearing how I feel about it. Um... But I think it's a dangerous precedent to set in any country because it's going to slow down. Uh, it can slow down the market. It only really, it will fundamentally only benefit as well the big boys because the credit investors have no restrictions. You know, they don't protect. They don't need to protect them. It's not about protection, is it? It's about limiting your ability to move from one uh, class system to another, or to be where you are now to being more free. I don't know. I don't know. Run over there, guys, I guess. Um, but eh, not good. Not good. Guys, let me know what you think about that in the comments. Not necessarily my run, but actually, what do you think about this? Do you think this protect crypto investors shit flies, or do you buy it? Let me know. If you buy it, I disagree with you. Doesn't mean I hate you or anything, I just disagree. Now, shout out to Solana. So the Phantom Wallet app has launched a quality thing. Now I've I've slammed Solana a few times on the channel purely off of the basis of the look. The network has not has had too many teething problems. And that's just a fair objective assessment, right? You see it, we see it constantly. But one thing that they've they've launched, which I love, is uh, something called a new burn token feature, which allows users to remove spam NFTs sent by scammers. And guys, if you've bought an NFT ever, you'll have seen these coming left, right, and center. Whether it's on uh, the Ethereum network the the polygon network solana network if you've gone if you've gone on OpenSea and you bought something you will have seen like you'll have seen a random nft arrive and it's worth like an eth or some shit like that right and then the moment that you have to give a certain level of permission to sell it because you've got a load of offers for this random nft you never bought and the moment that you give permission to sell said NFT, they have access to your wallet and you get screwed. So this is quality because it stops scammers. Um, so the Phantom team, um, the new feature is accessible via the Burn Token tab in the Phantom Wallet app. And it allows users to receive a minuscule deposit of Solana each time they use it. So the beauty is, is that sort of... I know it's minuscule, so they're not saying like you're going to get a whole friggin' Solana. They're probably talking about less than one cent or less than two cents. But 
you're getting a small, tiny reward for effectively booting these spammers. And that's quality. That's a really nice way to get the community behind getting rid of that crap that's in the ecosystem. I rate this massively because Solana has a quality community quality community and i'd really be interested to see what they end up doing with this how long it takes for them to really purge the entire ecosystem of these spam bs nfts that are trying to rob you um so the blog post said we're still in the wild wild west of web3 as the crypto ecosystem grows so have the number of bad actors looking for ways to steal users funds rapid growth and popularity of nfts has led to an increasingly prevalent method of attack for scammers. Phantom noted that the issue has been particularly prevalent on Solana due to its low transaction fees, with bad actors often airdropping supposedly free NFTs en masse, which contain malicious links. Spammer, uh, spam NFTs generally prompts the receiver to click a link to mint a free NFT. If they complete the process, however, their funds end up being drained from their wallet because you've given permission. Alternatively, the link will ask the receiver to input their seed phrase again you never ever 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 input your seed phrase no one should know your seed phrase other than you ever and it results in the same outcome uh, the scams are becoming increasingly more sophisticated for instance after a contract address and domain are identified as malicious scammers can change the metadata of an nft to try to avoid being block listed uh, so it can feel like an endless game of whack-a-mole which is a very appropriate way of thinking about it. Any malicious transactions that could comprise that, uh, your assets or permissions um, are the other thing that the team are fighting. They fight scammers through its phishing warning system. Again, very, very good. Phishing warning system. Phishing is a big way that people get caught out. You get some random email from like a MetaMask or OpenSea or Phantom or whoever about having to update your KYC or some crap like that and you get caught. So again, Phantom have got their um how do they phrase it? Their phishing warning system in place. I really rate this and you've got to give a round of applause to the Phantom team for going hard on this to try and alert users to phishing attempts, to try and give users the opportunity to burn off the shit in this ecosystem. Hugely, hugely, hugely rated. Um, and I really hope that the community jump aboard this. Anyone that's got an NFT, if you're seeing one that you never bought, burn that bitch. Burn that bitch and click purge that ecosystem of the bullshit in it. We could do with the same system in place in every blockchain. But massive shout out to Phantom there. And a massive shout out to the Solana um community if you can really start pushing and purging this shit um because it's it's awful and we don't want to see anyone in this ecosystem getting burnt by this bs um and like i said you know there's been there was a security exploit where eight million worth of funds were drained on the solana blockchain you know, we've seen these things happen, people get burned. So I really hope the community jump aboard and really friggin' smash this and smash those spammers. But let's see. Let's see, because it's going to be community-led, effectively. But I like that. Really like that. So let me go, guys, let me know in the comments, what does that make you feel about Phantom, the Phantom wallet? What does that make you feel about Solana? And how do you actually feel about the Canadian um, restrictions that have been put on the retail investors. Let me know down below. Um, my rants are over. Um, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell notification so you know when new content's coming out. And don't be fooled, guys, by governments, by people telling you they're protecting you. That doesn't happen. And you're adults, you don't need the protection. What it does is just limit you, and it limits what you can do. Don't trust these people. Anyway, um, guys, if you want to see the coins I'm buying up in the bear cycle, come check my pop my crypto. The link's in the description. It's where I share every coin I buy and sell, how I'm seeing the markets, 
if you don't have time to do your research, you can see the research I've done and you can see what, and I talk about the coins that I'm obviously in, build positions in the bear cycle. I'm looking at adding to those positions and banging in some new positions on coins I think are going to have massive 40, 50, 100x gains. So if you want to see what they are, go to the site, read it all. It's all verifiable. It's all on YouTube. And uh, hopefully I'll see you there. Take it easy. Bye-bye.